Hi, grade 11s. Next week, you're going to have an in-class exam, and it's going to be Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. And to help you out, I have to, I'm going to do a sample problem. This sample problem is a good example of what uh, you're going to be expected to calculate next week. So take a minute to read the problem. It involves taking two test tubes, and each test tube has a unique solution in it. And the first one contains aluminum iodide, and the second one contains lead to nitrate. For each of the solutions, they've given you a volume, and they've given you a concentration. So the first thing you have to do is you have to write out the uh, balanced chemical equation. So our first chemical is aluminum iodide. And just give me a second here. And for any compound that's in a double displacement reaction, it has to be aqueous, or the reactants have to be aqueous. So don't forget that. The second test tube has lead to nitrate. And hopefully by now you know that this nitrate has to have brackets around it because there's two of them, and again, that's also going to be aqueous. Now when we do the double displacement, the aluminum is going to go with the nitrate, and again, there's going to be three nitrates, and that, you're going to check your solubility table, and if you take, check your solubility table, you're going to find out that that's aqueous. The second compound is going to be lead iodide, And when we check our solubility table, we're going to find out that that is a solid. Alright, so the first thing you want to do is write out what you're given and what you're required to find. Well, you're required to find the mass of the lead iodide. What you've been told is you've been told the concentration and the volume of both the lead uh, nitrate and the aluminum iodide. So let's fill in our information. So the concentration of aluminum iodide is 5.66 moles per liter. The volume of the aluminum iodide is 300 milliliters. And you gotta change that into liters and you do that by dividing it by a thousand. So if you take 300 and you divide it by a thousand, you get 0.3 liters. Tells you that the concentration of the lead nitrate is 1.55 moles per liter. And the volume is 250 mils, which if you divide that by a thousand is 0.25 liters. All right, so now that we've done that, we have to calculate the number of moles that uh, we have now. Now, just in case you've forgotten, and I don't know how you could have forgotten, but just in case you've forgotten, concentration equals the number of moles divided by the volume. And we want the number of moles, so number of moles can be arranged to find number of moles equals concentration times volume. So that is our next step. Alright, so let's do this for aluminum iodide first. So again, number of moles equals the concentration times the volume. And in this case our concentration is 5.66 moles per liter. And it's going to be multiplied by 0 0.300 liters. And that is going to equal um, 1.7 moles. Now that is the number of moles for aluminum iodide. But we need to figure out what the limiting reagent is. So we need to find the number of moles, not of aluminum iodide, but the number of moles of our solid, which is lead to iodide. To do that we need to use a mole ratio. So we're going to take our 1.7 moles and we're going to multiply it by 3 over 2. Now the 3 comes from the 3 that is in front of the lead iodide on our balanced equation. 
and the 2 comes from the 2 that's in front of the aluminum iodide on our balanced equation. So it's always where are you going to, well we're going to lead iodide, divided by where you're coming from. Now if we do that calculation, we find out that it's 2.55 and that's moles. Now we have to do the same thing for lead nitrate. So again, we're going to do a number of moles equals concentration times volume. The concentration is 1.55. The volume is 0.25 liters. And that equals 0.3875. Moles. Again, that's the number of moles of lead nitrate, and that's not what we need. We need the number of moles of lead iodide, because again, we're looking for the limiting reagent. So to find that, we're going to use another mole ratio, and so we're going to take the number of moles we have, and we're going to multiply it by 3 over 3. The first 3 comes from the lead iodide and the uh, denominator 3 comes from the lead nitrate. Now, because that's a 1 to 1 ratio, our number of moles of lead iodide is the same, which is 0.3875 moles. So now we need to compare the two numbers. All right, so now when we compare them, aluminum iodide makes 2.547 moles and lead nitrate makes 0.387 moles. So lead nitrate is our, um, it's our limiting reagent and aluminum iodide is our excess reagent. So now we know the number of moles of lead iodide that we have. And now we have to figure out what the molar mass of lead iodide is. So what is the molar mass of lead iodide? Well, it's going to be one lead and two iodides. And one lead is 207 grams per mole. And there's going to be two iodides and each iodide is 127 grams per mole. So the molar mass is actually 461 grams per mole. Now we need to find the mass, and if you remember, number of moles equals mass divided by molar mass. And so the mass equals the number of moles times the molar mass. So the mass equals the number of moles times the molar mass, and in our case, the number of moles, we calculated it to be 0.3875 moles, and we calculated the molar mass of lead 2 iodide to be 461 grams per mole. So the mass equals 179 grams, and we leave it to three significant digits, one, two, three, because there was three significant digits um, in the question. So you look to the question, and whichever number has the lowest number of significant digits, that will be the number of significant digits you have in your answer. And there's our answer. All right, the only other kind of question that I can ask you um, in terms of calculations is how many um, or how much of your excess reactant is left over and that's for another um, video so stay tuned maybe you'll see another video that helps you out on your exam good luck guys